Hey there, fellow human. My name's Tim Sheaf, and if you don't know me, I want to give you a brief background into my history and then more about what we're doing here with the School of Biomechanics. So, throughout most of my adult life, I was a professional athlete, uh, won multiple world championships as a free runner, competed in American Ninja Warriors, captain of Team Europe. He's conquered it! And also won UK Ninja Warrior multiple times. Since then, I kind of moved on from the competitive side of things, wanted to understand more about the foundations of human movement, what makes up good movement and what makes a healthy body. As you can imagine, I've dealt with many multiple injuries, chronic injuries, stuff that lasted over years that I just couldn't deal with, couldn't solve. Eventually figured out the issues, figured out the problems in my training, in my approach to my body, my lack of understanding that were causing these issues. And so I created the School of Mind Mechanics. It's kind of a way to help other people share what I've learned, what I understand about the human body what's helped me and what's helped my students too. Biomechanics is kind of, it can sound like an overly intellectual word, basically just means how the human body moves and functions using all of the connective tissues, the muscles, the fascia, the tendons and the ligaments and the bones as one whole system network to move functionally. And so what I teach here, there are three main pillars to what I teach within the School of Biomechanics. And that's, they're the three things that I think make up a healthy, functioning, supple, agile body, and that is stability, fluidity, and strength. And so really, it's kind of a, a iceberg or a pyramid, however you want to look at it. First, we have to have stability. This is how we're able to move without inhibition. This is how safe we feel in our body. If we feel fragile, it's because there's a lack of stability. And so the body, if we have tightness in the body, again, it's this the body's getting rigid because it's scared, it feels unstable in certain positions, so we work on stability. There are two courses within the School of Biomechanics that focus on that. There's the stable course, which is what I created using a Swiss ball, and that's kind of a global stability. And then there's a the feather barrier course, which is more of a local, uh, precise stability focus, and, and kind of focus on one at a time within the school, but they're both there to help people if you come in from injuries, or in general you just think that's something I could work on, I've got what I feel is one of the best ways you can work on and progress through your stability as a foundation that we can then lay the next layers on top of. So after that, fluidity is kind of how agile we feel, how good we're moving, how coordinated we're able to move with our body. These, there's these natural patterns of motion, kind of using the infinity symbol and spirals and things in the body. We're not meant to be robots and move stiff and, and rigid. So Fluidity is parts of the course, there's some rope flow stuff in there, there's some landmine stuff, some kettlebell stuff, which all works on helping to grease the groove of these patterns in the body so that you understand how to move well. And so once we've got stability on top of stability and alongside good movement patterns, there's also strength. Now there's a lot of approaches to strength and you could say stability is absolutely a form of strength in itself, but in more conventional strength where people, you know, moving muscles, contracting, pulling limbs in, pushing limbs away, moving weights, moving the body, more conventional type strength training. There's also my approaches to them using body weights, using landmines, using body by science approach as well, like controlled, uh, controlled, stable strength work, slow and yeah, controlled basically is the best way to put it. That helps to build in a, in a safe and nurturing way into the body so there's some strength work on that in the course if that's what you're into as well now the purpose of all this or the tip of the iceberg of what this is all for is peak expression so when we have a healthy stable fluid strong body then it's we get to go out and do whatever we want with it we get to dance we get to play with our children we get to go and do sport parkour whatever is your peak expression dream that maybe you're already doing it and you just want to do it better running sprinting mountain running mountaineering any of that stuff is this is the training and the understanding of the body so that we can have a healthy body with longevity for a long period of time and do the things that we love to do and so that's really the essence of this is so that when we get those foundations in place we can then have the rewards for it and as i say the main pillars stability fluidity strength each in their own aspects each feed in and you know they're all intertwined and cross-linked anyway but that's kind of the way I've broken it down in the school. If you join the school, you get access to all those courses that I mentioned. You get access, direct access to me. You can communicate with me directly, message me anytime, any questions about the course. You want to send me footage for feedback, just drop me a message. You can do that too. 
So there's the classroom, there's contact with me, and there's also community. So there's over 100 students within the school. We've got active on the site. There's also live chats. I do two live chats a month, which you can join in on, on Zoom. So that's kind of what makes up the school. There's all the content I've created. There's these pillars of healthy biomechanics within the body. And then there's the whole community side of things as well. So it's a really beautiful place. It's where I'm sharing. My heart's really in this right now. Sharing with other people that are passionate too. Uh, and so if you think that's you, you're interested to join. If you have any further questions, drop your message. But if you think that's you, you want to join, it'd be great to have you with us. I thank you for your time. See you.